Hi everyone, this is Trevor from astrobackyard.com and tonight I will be partaking in some deep sky astrophotography here in the backyard and uh, tonight's subject is quite possibly the most stunning nebula in the northern hemisphere night sky. The Lagoon Nebula lies at the spout of the teapot in Sagittarius and is a fantastic summertime astrophotography target. Uh, if the focal length of your telescope allows for it, you can fit in the Trifid Nebula M20 in the same field of view and it makes for an unforgettable photo. The Lagoon Nebula contains both red emission and blue reflection nebulosity. That gives it its signature magenta glow. And there's also an open star cluster, NGC 6530, within the Lagoon Nebula. For tonight's session, I'm going to be using my Canon T3i 600D DSLR. This camera has the full spectrum mod, so the stock IR cut filter has been removed. And I am using the Skytech CLS CCD filter to block out the unwanted city light pollution from my backyard. I'll combine tonight's RGB data with uh, existing exposures from last year on the Lagoon using the same configuration. It was actually the Canon XSI I used last year, but it was with the ED-102, so it's a very close field of view. There'll be some scaling there to match, the, match everything up, but uh, I'll be able to combine the data for, uh, I'm hoping for about three hours worth of exposure time. The time for capturing the Lagoon Nebula is right now. From northern latitudes, like here in uh, Ontario, Canada, uh, Messier 8 crosses the sky at a very low altitude, uh, along with the core of the Milky Way. If you have trees or other obstructions in your backyard, you may not be even able to see it. Uh, like I said, it's, it's quite low, so you'll need a clear view to the, the southern horizon. Funny enough, when we were looking at this house to, to purchase it, uh, one of my big things was to have a wide open sky to the south, uh, including a, a view to the southern horizon, particularly for objects like the, the uh, that you find in Sagittarius, like the Lagoon Nebula. And it was a deciding factor in buying this house that, that it did have a clear view. Uh, and I'm not, I'm not kidding. <laughs> so I'm all set up in the back portion of my yard out in the grass. It's a very wet night. The grass is all soaked and wet. And you can actually feel the moisture dropping from the sky. I can feel it. It almost feels like a mist. I can feel it on my arms. Uh, but, so I tried ISO 1600 in uh, three, uh, three minute subs. And it was a little too much. Uh, there's a lot of obviously the city glow, but as well as the fog in the air, it was clipping the red channel at ISO 1600 for three minutes. So I kept the exposure time the same at three minutes and bumped it down to ISO 800. Uh, it's a warm night too. It's probably about 30 degrees with the Humidex. So it's probably a better idea to use ISO 800 now anyway. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm hoping to get at least an hour of uh, three minute subs that I'll add to last year's data and uh, produce a new RGB version of the Lagoon Nebula.